No, I don't waste no time How are you doing guys and welcome to a new video. Now for those of you that are new to the channel, my name is Joshua Daniel George and I own a social media marketing agency. And for those that don't know what that means, I basically run a virtual agency because I can do this from anywhere in the world, provided that I've got a laptop and an internet connection. And I basically build out funnels and set up Facebook advertisements uh, for you know clients all over the world. That can be anything from an online coach that has his own info product and wants to get more sales to a, um, a e-commerce store, so someone that owns a web shop and they wanna get more sales for their web shop. We then implement Facebook advertisements and get them more sales and then more revenue and of course a return on investment by you know using social media marketing and then in my case, uh, Facebook advertising. And alongside that, I also have my own education business where I teach you guys on how to do the same. So basically how to, to literally just replicate what I do, how to start your own agency, how to get your first clients and then you know multiple clients after that and of course how to get those clients results because that is a very important thing that I feel like a lot of people out there do forget to teach you know there's um, a myriad of courses out there that teach you how to get the first clients and how to you know do outreach etc but uh, they don't or they lack basically the skills of you know how to actually get the results because more often than not, these people can't actually get the results themselves and they're just promoting the business model. But that is a story for a different day. But the reason why I'm bringing up the coaching business is because on Sundays, uh, we have like this live session where I teach a module, you know, based on the preferences of the coaching students, or we get a guest speaker on and that guest speaker can be someone within the industry or someone just outside the industry that has a, a, a you know, a, a skill or um, an experience that I think would benefit the group uh, hearing about that or learning about that skill. Um, and last Sunday, we had a, a guest speaker on who was actually from the affiliate marketing industry, which is a slightly different industry than the social media marketing industry, um, because affiliate marketing, basically, you do not have uh, clients per se. You run offers uh, with your own money and your own budget, and if you are able to sell that product or service, you get commission off the company that originally owned uh, that product or service. So slightly different, of course, it's all digital marketing for those that um, are looking in from the outside. But uh, last Sunday, this, uh, this guest speaker, which is actually a close friend of mine and uh, ex sort of project slash business partner on a project that we worked together on uh, last year. And uh, he basically came in because he was, uh, like I said, he was from the affiliate marketing industry, uh, but actually made the switch over to social media marketing. And for those that don't know, the affiliate marketing industry is a billion dollar industry. Like there is so much money to be made with affiliate marketing, but this guy actually made the switch to social media marketing. So I was very curious and interested to hear like basically his side of things. Um, you know, we are in regular contact, but obviously, you know, something like that, it's not something that you just explain over DM or via WhatsApp. So I basically said, you know, let's actually, I invite you as a guest speaker onto our program and uh, you can explain your story and also teach the rest of the students some little things from your industry that, you know, could actually benefit us when doing outreach or also when getting results for our clients. And there's a few things that he mentioned that I think are very, very important to social media marketing and why, in my opinion, you know, out of all the business models out there, social media marketing or SMMA uh, or digital marketing or whatever you want to call it, um, in my case, just for the sake of this video, I will call it social media marketing agency or SMMA and um, why I think that is the only business model you should focus on. And I'm recording this in 2020, Q4 2020, but this is still applicable in 2021, 2022. So if you're watching this, you know, two years from now, this is still very, very relevant because the same sort of skills needed and the same skills that you develop will still be the same, you know, two years from now. So um, basically back to the story, he was explaining about his uh, affiliate marketing journey. And one thing that is very difficult with affiliate marketing is that you are basically walking on eggshells when it comes to Facebook. Facebook aren't a big fan of affiliate marketing. Um, they basically just categorize that under uh, scamming and um, you know any kind of like earn money online type of um, business model. So there's a very, very big chance, in my opinion, probably 80% chance that if you do run advertisements for these affiliate marketing products and services, you will get your ad 
uh, basically your ads rejected, uh, then you know even worse, maybe your ad account banned. And if you really, really uh, manage to uh, basically piss Facebook off, they might even uh, restrict your personal profile from running any ads ever again, or just take down your business uh, manager in its entirety. And basically that was one of the deciding factors in him making the switch from affiliate marketing to social media marketing because with social media marketing, you are not doing anything wrong. You're not doing anything illegal. You're not scamming people out of their money. Basically, what you are doing is you are providing a service to other businesses and helping them get more sales with uh, Facebook advertising. In my case, you know this can be uh, social media marketing. Can also be uh, Google advertising, YouTube advertising, which obviously falls under Google. You know there are a lot of different ways of running an SMMA, but in my case, it's Facebook ads. Um, and like I said, we're not doing anything wrong. It's completely white hat. It's completely above board. You know, we're not uh, scamming people out of their money or in the eyes of Facebook. You know, there's no perception of scamming people out of their money because obviously even with affiliate marketing, it's still all above board, but Facebook just does not see it that way. And uh, for him, like I said, that was uh, the reason for him going from affiliate marketing to uh, social media marketing. And like I said, I just want to have this video and record this video to give you guys um, my perception of social media marketing and why I think you should uh, only focus on the, you know, this one business model. And let me just start with by saying that it's a multifaceted business. Um, and what I mean by that is when you start social media marketing, yes, you need to do outreach. Yes, you know, you need to get results. But there are so many little things that you learn along the way that make you all in all, you know, a better, more developed uh, individual or entrepreneur. You know, yes, there is the outreach path, which is just, you know, you need to know how to do it. But sales comes to play, um, you know, even a, a little bit of neuralistic programming. You need to develop yourself in terms of time management, productivity. Uh, you need to know the ins and outs of marketing. You need to know how to build funnels. You need to know persuasion and you need to know sales techniques, not only from a, I need to sign this client, but also when you're setting up the advertisements, you need to know what triggers people. You know, how can you emotionally trigger someone to click on an advertisement? Um, what trends in the industry are currently playing that will increase the CPM or decrease the CPM. For example, when coronavirus just hit and all these local businesses stopped advertising out of fear of not knowing what's coming next and more people were actually, you know, in lockdown at home on their phones, the CPM basically decreased because there's more people to advertise to and there's less people advertising. And at the end of the day, you know, it's just a bit more basically against other marketers and media buyers and that, you know, caused a CPM to drop and the conversion rate to go up and you know sales just became much much easier in terms of you know Facebook advertising knowing what is happening in the industry and for example now um, so again at the time of recording this Q4 2020 we've got the elections in the US we've got Black Friday coming up we've got Christmas coming up so all these little things will play a role in you know what kind of results you can get for clients but all in all it's a multifaceted business. You need to know all these things uh, in order to basically have a successful agency. And you know, yes, some people may see that as a bad thing. Oh, I need to know all of this before I can start. But over time, you will develop all of these skills, which are, in my opinion, very high income skills. You know, once you can master sales, you know, you can use that in every other aspect of you know your life. Uh, essentially, same goes for marketing. You know, if you can master marketing, again, you know, in my opinion, you'll never ever go poor because you have this one very high income skill. And if you can market someone else's products, you can also market your own products. So let's say, hypothetically speaking, somewhere down the line, you do actually manage to lose all of your clients or you get a change of heart and you basically cut away from all your clients. You could then bring out your own products and services and you know basically start marketing those. And like I said, there are so many other aspects of that business that uh, will really benefit you in the long run if you start developing these skills right now. Then another thing I think is really important about social media marketing is the barrier to entry. So with affiliate marketing, for example, or dropshipping or Amazon FBA, there is a investment required. You need to invest into stock. You need to invest into Facebook ads. You need to invest into you know your media buying skills, etc. With social media marketing, there is no barrier to entry. You can go out and get a client today with zero money. All you need to do is put in the time. And yes, you know there are pieces of software that you can acquire to make life easier for you. But when you just basically you know strip it down to the bare bones, you don't need anything other than you know sheer will and determination. You know you can literally go out now, reach out to businesses, 
get them on the phone, speak to them, see what they want, see what their current situation is, see where they are aspiring to go to, and then see if you can help them with that. And only then when you actually get the clients, can you uh, start investing into software that can make life easier for you, automations that can make life easier for you, and maybe even media buyers if you wanna build out a team and not actually do this service yourself. Okay, so we have the multifaceted uh, aspect of social media marketing. We have the low barrier to entry. And thirdly, we also have an extremely high profit margin. Because we don't need to invest into ads ourselves, a so quick side note for those that don't really understand, we do not use our own money to run the ads. We actually use our clients' money to run the ads. So basically, we ask for a set fee, which is a retainer. That is basically what we um, receive you know, as a thank you for doing the work for them. And then we run the ads on their behalf with their credit card and their ad account. And then if we get them a return on investment, obviously that is money that they keep and we just take the retainer. There are deals where you can maybe get a percentage of the return on ad spend, a percentage of the purchase conversion value, etc. But again, when you strip it down to the bare bones, usually you just get a set fee and the client pays for the advertisements. So there aren't really a lot of costs involved and the only costs that you get are the costs of, for example, like software and outsourcing costs that only occur later down the line when you actually start deciding to you know, uh, invest back into your business. So if you get a retainer for, let's say, £2,000 a month or €2,000 a month, then that is practically a 100% profit margin. Now, if I just look at my business, again, in full transparency, we do not have a 100% profit margin. Um, I have a full-time employee, I've got a few virtual assistants, and I've got roughly 570 euros a month in recurring software costs. So, you know, ClickFunnels, uh, we've got Teachable, Zoom, we pay for like the premium version of Zoom. Zapier, again, one of the highest tiers. I think the, most of my, my money goes to my email um, marketing system called Active Campaign. You know, we, we pay a couple hundred for that um, because we've basically got a, a lot of emails in our email list. So that is why we pay um, top dollar for Active Campaign, which is our email software. But like I said, you know, all these small costs, they do add up over time, but there are only costs that you basically have, you know, when you get to that point. So for us now, I think 570, um, I have no idea. I'll put it on the screen what percentage that is, but you know, we're, we're on 15K revenue at the moment. 517 costs, of course, you get tax, and uh, I've got salary of a full time employee. But other than that, you know, it, I think we're in like 70 or 80% profit margin. It's not um, the costs that we have aren't a lot compared to you know what we are currently making. So like I said, you know, there is a low barrier to entry and a very high profit margin. And lastly, before we wrap up this video, because you know, this is almost a 15 minute video already is that the community is absolutely it's just great you know there's, there's no words for it the amount of people within this industry that i now speak to on a daily basis or that have had periods where i've spoken to on a daily basis and that have really helped me out and really helped me along the way you know words can't describe in my opinion how great this industry is because at the end of the day you know whether you are in this to sell courses whether you are in this to actually build out an agency whatever your aspirations are within the industry i feel like we are all still on the same goal you know as at the end of the day we are all online entrepreneurs that are all striving towards financial freedom or the triple freedom concept which i also like to call it which is basically freedom of time freedom of location and of course financial freedom as well so you know we all have the same end goal and regardless of like I said you know how we are getting there we all do help each other out along the way and uh, for example i've noticed that within my own coaching group as well you know uh, if you enroll into my coaching program you basically get uh, my personal number and i'll add you to like the whatsapp masterminds and sometimes you know i'll go into a deep work block switch on my phone two hours later and i'll see like 30 messages of just people you know engaging and sharing information sharing sharing new tips and tricks within the industry within that group and you know like i said you know if someone asks a question in the group there's other people jumping right on there saying hey you know let's let's um hop on a call i'll show you how to do this I'll teach you how to do that. You know, it's it's absolutely amazing. And same goes for me. You know, if I ask a question to people within my industry that are just a, you know, a few steps ahead of me in terms of revenue, in terms of agency growth, etc., then I will get a reply instantly, and they'll say, "Hey, let's hop on a call. I'll show you exactly how I've done this." Um, and of course, I try and do the same as well. So every single time I learn something, I try to pass it on either to you guys through YouTube or um, I explain it in depth and detail into my coaching program or you know, close friends within the industry, I'll obviously pass on the message to as well. And like I said, that is something that I have not experienced in any other industry yet. You know, um, For those of you that have been following my journey from day one, 
you guys will know that I come from a fitness background. I used to have content on fitness. Um, I used to have my own company called JD Fitness, where I basically gave online coaching with you know with regards to fitness and nutrition. And the industry was not like this at all. You know, people were very much keeping to themselves. Um, no one basically shared like the inside knowledge or the tips and tricks of you know of, of how to do it, how to grow your business, etc. Whereas within SMMA, I feel like it's very transparent and people really do help each other out. But anyway, like I said, I'll probably wrap up this video here. Hope you got something out of this. So to wrap everything up and to give you guys the all you know conclusive answer, uh, low barrier to entry, high profit margins, multifaceted business, and the industry slash community is absolutely top notch. And with that said, I will wrap up this video here. Thanks everyone, everyone for watching. If you enjoyed videos like this, then please leave a comment down below what you'd like to see from the channel next. Leave this video with a thumbs up and also click on that little bell icon so you get a notification every single time I upload. Subscribe to the channel for more and I'll see you all in the next video.